you are always with me. And we did everything together. Since we was kids, you've been by my side, looking up at me with them eyes, same eyes you got as your, my sister. Waiting on me to make the next move, then you followed up right behind me. You always made sure I did it first, so you can do it right with me. You never competed with me. We was always on the same team because you hated playing against me because I always played too hard or too rough. And I can hear mama saying, not too rough, son, because I ain't like to lose. You never competed with me. You never wanted no smoke with me because you knew that I played too rough. I could hear Big Mama saying right now, too rough, son. Calm down, let him go, Quavo. You too rough on him now. Where is the love? Speak about the times where he helped you out and you helped him out. Why is he talking about the times when he beat this man up? And that's what got me thinking that family ain't what it used to be, man. Family is only family when it comes to money because everything in this situation boils down to money. Quavo making that messy video boils down to money. Offset and Quavo wanting to get out of that three-man deal so they had to break the chain allegedly so they can get their money boils down to money, man. Take off family drama, him dying without a will, and now his mother and father may be fighting over his fortune, it all boils down to money. Everybody that showed up to his funeral with their suit and ties on, looking like new money, you figure they would've took care of his family first before spending all that money on this unnecessary funeral where people only showed up to chase clout. Now it's being said that there's drama brewing in Take All's family, and it may have to do with the millions that the rapper earned throughout his life and will continue to make even after his death. And if somebody did plan this all in advance, it was very clever how they had Take Off take off and did it at an arena like it was a rock concert. Jay Prince is also catching hell because he did his own little memorial service for takeoff down there in Houston. Like I said, man, it all boils down to money and he's the main people claiming that they supposed to be family. People out here saying that takeoff did not even have a will. The rap star also did not have any children. Therefore, under Georgia state law, his entire state will go to the closest living relatives. In Takeoff's case, that would be his mother and his father. But nobody was closer to him than Quavo, so is it a possibility that Quavo about to get broke off some bread simply because he was the closest relative? According to people close to the situation, Takeoff's mom raised the rapper, and they are not clear what involvement Takeoff's father had in the rearing of the 28-year-old star. This is my personal opinion. To me, it felt like everybody was in on it. He had all that money that was owed to him that they probably never planned on giving him in the first place. Offset Ben wanted to do his own thing. He ain't want nothing to do with the Migos, but the thing is, when you sign that contract and it's three of y'all on the deal, it don't matter if you do a solo album or not, you still gonna get broke off in a three-way deal. But now that Takeoff is no longer here, does that make the contract void? Recently, Takeoff's father's relatives began talking on social media, suggesting that Takeoff and his father did have a relationship and that the father was involved in his rearing. So just because they had a relationship together, y'all feel like y'all entitled to all of this man's money? That's why this whole situation looks sketchy. And that speech that Quavo gave at the funeral, it left me under the impression that Takeoff was being used and abused the whole time. Now everybody in the family posting pictures of way back in the day when Takeoff was with his dad. Y'all ain't got no recent pictures of Takeoff with his father? Over the past few days, many family members from Takeoff's father's side took to social media to explain how not only Takeoff's father, but they were also in his life and deserve recognition. Now, everybody in black America know that 90% of us don't even rock with our father's side of the family. Don't get me wrong, they cool and all that, but they ain't like your mother's side of the family. But now that he passed away, all the people from his father's side of the family is coming out the woodworks because they trying to get some of that shine. Posting all the pictures they had of him back in the day, 
But where the pictures at with y'all and him with the chains on, with the rings on? Where the pictures of y'all with him posted outside of Big Mama house with the Range Rover and all that? She said that humble, quiet, observant, God-fearingness, Kendrick came from our dad 100%. The whole family going on a rampage. They letting it be known that they entitled to everything that this man left behind in his legacy. And they not going to stop until they get that cheddar. Homie said, nobody is saying y'all can't talk about the situation. But the day of his funeral? Talk about this when he died a week ago. Why come out now instead of when he was alive? How disrespectful. All his family members have been quiet. It's just the right thing to do. So you got fans getting at her on social media and she talking about my tweet is a reference to the blogs that literally says his dad left when he was in kindergarten in the comments that say things along the lines of I bet his dad wish he would have stuck around. It looked like his father did leave him in kindergarten. Oh my goodness. These some old kindergarten pictures y'all posting. Like I said before, where the pictures of him when he was a grown man kicking it with his father? But he down there trying to figure out how he going to get his check. Yo, much respect to Kenneth Ball and the whole Ball family. I promise y'all, I don't want no smoke. I'm just calling it how I see it. All of this is very, very shady. Not just on his father's side, but on all sides of his family. I just don't know how to call it. That's Atlanta for your ass. Homie got his Spider-Man pants on backwards. Oh my goodness. Ain't no telling where these weirdos came from, but at the same time, this funeral was a concert. That's why you had people showing up in their little tight tights looking for a man. You had janitors with no teeth finally being heard. Everybody got a little shine on the day of this man's funeral. Everybody's benefiting off of this man's death. Shorty said takeoff deserved every accolade that he received, including his flowers, period. Tuh. For the real fans, we know he paid homage to the old school. He may not have named all of them, but he deserved his spotlight because he changed the cadences of hip hop music. Folks need to stop hating on young folks when they accomplish something great, greater before they old. This is why there is a generational gap. He is a hip hop descendant of all of those before him. This broadcast really came off disrespectful. Rest in peace, King. Take care. You are solely missed. And not only did she leave one comment, but she left two comments. But at the same time, she talking about my content is disrespectful. But you wrote a whole paragraph or two because you was loving the video and all that. Thank you so much, Ma, for your comment. But it's either you hate me or love me. And it's looking like you love me with all these words right here. You doing a whole lot of talking, Mama. Do y'all hear that little birdie outside my window? You might as well hit that Instagram or something. Hit me up on Facebook, cause you look good. But that's Negro here nor there. Y'all gotta let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. Make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button, y'all. Hit that cash app too, dollar sign Sean Blaze Docs. I got so much love for y'all. I'ma holla at y'all later though. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe.